Welcome to another home studio exploration. We're gonna look at hand printing relief. Here are some tools you will need if you are planning to print by hand. This is a Baron, it's a Teflon Baron. There's lots of little bumps in it. It has a small handle so you can hold it while you apply pressure burnishing the paper into your relief surface from the back. I like this one a lot. I also really like wooden spoons. This is just a bamboo rice spoon. You can see I've used it a lot. I like a flat edge that's smooth, nothing metal. It's just my preference. And I can kind of use the sides of the spoon to dig into specific edges of the relief. This is a ball bearing baron that I got from McLean's and this allows me to put quite a bit of pressure. This is fairly expensive, so I doubt that a lot of you have it. It's very comfortable. I can work in large prints with it. The ball bearings move around, so it helps me to kind of translate all that force. You will also need gloves, a palette knife, ink, and a uh, This is pretty old, so that's why it looks a little gray. And I'm using Daniel Smith Relief Ink. That's what I have. If you use an acrylic relief ink, that's fine. Just know you have to work a little bit faster. Akua Intaglio Ink also works fine for home printing. Basically showing you how you would hand print a woodcut with oil-based ink. So fine on that. Your cleanup would be different if you're using an acrylic or water miscible ink. All right, put those gloves on real tight. I'm going to spread out my ink on my piece of glass and use the brayer to charge it, going back and forth, kind of picking it up so it starts in a new spot, shaking the camera, going in an alternating direction to smooth and even out the ink fountain. And I'm going back and forth quite a bit because I noticed there's this low spot on the brayer that I didn't know before. This is not ideal. That's just a low spot. It's been damaged. It's no good. But we're going to use it anyway. It'll suffice for this demonstration. Okay, this is a carving of a hand I did. So, par any relief. All the ray surfaces will collect ink from the brayer. I'm going to continually charge and brayer the carved hand wood block going in different directions, charging multiple times. And once it has a similar texture consistency on the block that it does on the ink fountain, then I know I'm ready to print. I'm using regular heavy office paper for this. This is not the best for hand printing, but I want to show something that might be more accessible. So the Baron, I am going to just use that to lightly basically stick the paper to the, the wood cup, same thing with the spoon, just very lightly from the back. I'm gonna take off my gloves. So I generally like to print without gloves on. And I'm putting a piece of newsprint down. You can just use newspaper or phone book paper or magazine just to help protect the back of your paper. I'm using a lot more pressure. I'm pushing a lot with my elbow and my shoulder to really push in with the spoon. I'm gonna peel up and check and notice that I didn't quite get enough pressure on one of the fingers. So I'm just going to go over a little bit more, especially on those fingers, paying a little more attention. See how we did. So that looks pretty good. This is a first print. For a first print, this is not too bad. If I want it to be a little darker, there's some lines, some kind of striations from the green of the wood that I don't mind, but if I want it to be a little darker, the second print would most likely be a bit, a bit more dense, or I could apply a little more ink or a little more pressure with my hand. Now, to clean up at home. First off, if you don't have a glass slab, you can just use a paper plate. You can throw away the paper plate, but if you have a glass slab, you gotta clean it up. I'm using a razor scraper to scrape up all the ink, brayering the ink back out, and putting the excess ink on a piece of newsprint. Put just cooking oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil. If you don't have rags, you can just use napkins or paper towels. I use rags that are basically cut up old socks. I hope that's not gross. I'm just trying to be conservative. But use some sort of rag. Be careful when you're cleaning the razor scraper tool because it is a blade. And then I'm kind of pushing and moving the sprayer to help push off some of the ink, wiping it down. Simple green works but really any household cleaner works. 
because you don't want to leave a film of vegetable oil on all of your tools. So clean it off. I know someone else will cleaning off the handle, cleaning off the glass as I go, keep pushing, shaking the camera because I'm using a fair amount of force here and cleaning off the sides of the brayer because I don't want any ink snuck in there. I'm using the napkin right now, mostly just to show you how there's still a tiny bit of ink residue on there. And I wanna clean as much of that off there as I can. Although the napkin's not really great. The old sock is better, trust me. Hopefully that helps. 